Ferguson. finished there you are it's over your obligation to me is at an end from this point on your reactions can be completely truthful and if they are you will be asked to leave and by asked to leave I mean hurt but perhaps you like that yes I'm beginning the week even creepier than usual I hadn't planned on being this creepy, but apparently I'm going to be this creepy all week. In fact, it's going to get creepier. <laughs> it is, however, a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yeah. It is. It is a great day, a great day for our friends in France and the French. Uh, yesterday, the. Uh, <laughs> a great. It's a great day for France. Yesterday they elected a new president. The French are going nuts. Today the streets of Paris were filled with people going, I don't care. <laughs> so what do life is mean? Now some people of course were, were very uh, genuinely excited, but they were all mine, so they were just like... <laughs> now politics in France is a little different from here. When the French Secret Service hires prostitutes, it's not a scandal. <laughs> It's called test driving mistresses for your boss. That's all it is. I wish our election was more like the election in France. And by that, I mean I wish it was over. It's hardly even started yet. You get months of this crap. <laughs> you know you. Oh, shut up. Anyway, yesterday the French president got voted out. So it's adieu to Nicolas Sarkozy. He is riding his bicyclette off into the sunset. <laughs> He was a very stylish president, Sarkozy. Vanity Fair put him in their list of best-dressed men in the world, right between Brad Pitt and David Beckham. <laughs> Imagine being between those two. That sounds awful. Awful nice. Told you, extra creepy. Anyway, Sarkozy did a lot of unpopular things. He gave himself a huge salary increase, he raised the retirement age, and the worst thing of all, this is true, this is what I think got him kicked out, he banned cheese! <laughs> See, we're thousands of miles from France, and, and you're not even French, and you're outraged by it! <laughs> that's right, he banned cheese! <laughs> oh, that should be a new thing we do on the show, everybody! <laughs> I say ban cheese, the music will go, and you all go, oh, let's try it. He banned cheese! <laughs> Craig. It's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, are, you, are you saying that he banned cheese? Hey, 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 that, that's my, I do the ban cheese thing. <laughs> I do the ban cheese, you, you just get your own thing, all right? Just calm down there, hey. Yeah. It's true. Uh, Sarkozy's idea of reform is what he banned cheese from the presidential palace. This is ridiculous. If there's one thing a president should never do at a state dinner is cut the cheese. <laughs> you see what I did? You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Don't, don't, come on, you knew. Anyway, cheese though. Cheese in France, you can't take cheese from the French. The French, God bless them, they love cheese. Cheese is the most important part of a French meal. They serve courses like this. It goes, wine, appetizer, wine, cheese. Wine, cigarette, wine, cheese. Cigarette, cigarette, cheese, wine, cigarette, cheese. Cheese, cigarette, wine, cheese and crackers. That's how it's done. So they do it. And Sarkozy was all over the gossip columns, mostly because of his wife, Carla Brunei. Is it Brunei? Brunei. Brunei's the country, it's a Bruni. Carla Bruni? Carla, she was a Carla Henderson. <laughs> no, 
No, Carla, is it Brunei or Bruni or Bruni? I think it sounds like Brunei. I think Brunei is the country. I think it's the salt of Brunei, Carla Bruni. Then what the hell did you ask me for? <laughs> I thought you'd know. Well, I don't, all right? Apparently I'm wrong. All right. Has <laughs> he had his nose done? <laughs> Have you had your nose done? Oh, yeah, it's all right, all right, sorry. Oh, yeah, Carla Bruni. Anyway, she, uh... She used to date uh, Donald Trump and Mick Jagger. Uh, that woman's got taste. <laughs> Two very different, of course, uh, Donald Trump and Mick Jagger. One's an old dude with a big mouth and a wig on his head, and the other one's Donald Trump. <laughs> That's right, I said it, yeah, oh, right, I said it. That's right, Mick Jagger wears a wig. And it's made from David Bowie's hair. <laughs> Not the hair on his head. Right, Mick Jagger actually does wear a wig of David Bowie's pubic hair. Of course he doesn't. Don't be ridiculous. I just made it up. It's, a, it's what we call in show business a lie. When I say show business, I don't mean this, of course. Anyway, Carla Bruni used to be a nude model. I know. There's, there's tons of nude pictures on the internet of her. I've heard. <laughs> having a first lady that most of the country has seen naked? That could never happen here. After about 1994, even Bill Clinton never saw Hillary naked. <laughs> Turn the lights off, honey. <laughs> but keep the pantsuit on. Anyway, the French first lady had a lot of plastic surgery lately. Uh, do you have a picture of Carla Bruni from a few years ago? There she is, a beautiful young girl. Lovely. But then she had a lot of work done since then. Did you get a recent picture of her? Now, come on! <laughs> now, come on, that's Joan. Who's that? a, re a real picture of Carla Bruni now? See, look at it. But, no, wait, wait. That's Kenny Rogers. <laughs> no, I, 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 no that, really, that really is Carla Bruni. Do we have, a, do we have an actual picture of Kenny Rogers? There you are. Ah. <laughs> oh. Hey. I'll tell you when to ooh. And when you ooh is when I say, he banned cheese! <laughs> it's like they're my playthings. <laughs> Do you follow the French politics, Sarah Jeff? Oh, yeah. Big, big fan of that stuff. <laughs> Big fan of French politics, oh, aren't yeah, you? Hey, have you seen the Greek elections as well? Yeah. Like yeah. 21 Nazis? Twi yeah. They've got a guy who's a Nazi in Greece. I'm like, my big fat Greek Nazi? There's <laughs> like 21, there's like 300 new MPs or something, or, uh, and, they, uh, and 21 of them are Nazis. They're not even like, we're calling them Nazis, but they call, them, they call themselves Nazis. I'm like, haven't we done this? <laughs> You can't even, I mean, it's not like, what can you, you can't, I mean, how can you? Like, I'm not saying, I don't know, it's not like, oh, I'd like to argue, the word, Nazis! But pace yourself, man, pace yourself. Pace myself, pace myself, Jeff! Nazis! Nazis! Yes! It's, they're the type of people that would ban cheese! So let's say you're more upset about banned cheese than actual Nazis. <laughs> Jeff, take us out of here. All right. During the commercial break, our viewers are strongly encouraged to reconsider their options. <laughs>